We just made this enormously easy entryway decor. Or fabulously functional foyer decor. Ooh, good one. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great. That's what we do on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tick that bell to be notified of our new video each week. Speaking of each week, this is where I'm telling you it's Tuesday and we put out a video every Friday. But as we started to edit this quick and easy project we were doing for this week, I realized we didn't have a microphone attached. Ah, oh, no microphone. We're gonna have to do some kind of voiceover. Ah, oh, voiceover. It'll be fun, I say. So I found this on Pinterest. I thought it looked like a fairly easy project and it would be great for our front foyer. So we got four boards. We're doing three cuts if you do it right. And we got some brackets and some pocket holes and stuff. Step one, make all your cuts. We cut these one by fours into 32 inch sections. So they're three even boards. And I cut all three at the same time, just made two cuts and then two cuts for this one by 12. All of our cuts are done. I did all the pocket holes. We got our one by 12 cut. We got these cute little brackets. We will attach to the shelf. And here I'm telling him, we have to paint everything first. Oh, paint everything. I hate painting. Do we have to paint everything first? He's the worst painter. Step two, we gotta paint everything. We're gonna use some, uh, what is that? Charcoal gray chalk paint. Yeah, we're gonna paint these things. I don't know right. why he has the brackets in his hands. And we're gonna use this briar smoke wood stain. Oh yeah, and then all the white is this uh, white linen. That's what we're painting in the background. <laughs> all right, uh, time to paint. Here's our fast montage letting you know that we actually do the painting ourselves. It's not done by professionals. Man, even like a 1200% faster, I am still the world's slowest painter. <laughs> and guess what Garrett never does? He never stains. You wanna know why he never stains? Cause he never actually wipes the stain back off again and it makes it a mess. I'm not very good at painting or staining. <laughs> Step three, uh, assemble it. Autobots assemble. Well, that's where I made the joke, but uh, only Kim's gonna think that's funny. Yep. And here I'm still embarrassed for him. He's embarrassed <laughs> for himself. I was embarrassed. All right, we're gonna use some pocket hole screws. They're an inch and a quarter. Kim is my, my screw prepper. That's what I'm doing, screw prepping. Prepping the screws. I made a Transformers joke during this time as well that he was gonna embarrass me with later, oh, so. Oh yeah, I was totally gonna get you. <laughs> All right, that's what we got so far. All of our pocket holes. Oh, <coughs> there was dust everywhere when I dropped yes. that thing. <laughs> All right, that's what it's looking like. Time to pin on our little brackets. All right, I'm just using some three quarter inch screws to pin the brackets down. Now we're gonna put the top on, same same screws, three quarter inch screws. All right, now we're gonna put the coat hangers on. I painted some screws to match the little coat hanger hooks. And here's where I realized he's got paint on the hooks. Hey, it looked like authentic, like <sighs> it was really reclaimed, look. He's the worst painter. I am the worst <laughs> painter. <laughs> All right. Now I'm trying to get the spacing just right. That took about 10 minutes. Yeah. That's what we got so far. Yeah. Oh, this is just a voiceover. It's still heavy. Don't mind me back there. I never do, babe. I never do. All right, we're gonna put it aside and work on, and work on our sign. Yep, we're just, I cut this out on the Cricut. We're just weeding the vinyl. Now we're taking the back off and we're gonna attach it to our board. So measure. we can paint it. Yep, just trying to get it lined up perfectly. Here's where I start having the bright idea that maybe I want to leave it black like this. It looks pretty cool, and it does look pretty cool until you put this frame on and realize it's about a sixteenth of an inch crooked. And then we said, never mind, we'll just go ahead and paint it. <laughs> I think it looked better painted anyway. I'm using a one and a quarter inch brads to tack the frame around it. Brad, the nail, 
not the guy. He's only done that joke 15 times in our videos. Every time, every time. <laughs> Quick weeding job. All right, that's our sign. That's what we got so far. Time to put this on that thing. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put some screws in the four corners of the of the little sign there. So this, we just use dark screws. You can't even really see them. So we just attached it directly to the backer board. Oh man, that thing got heavy uh, real quick. I think it's the <laughs> amount of pocket hole screws. You're not leaving me back there this time. All right, that's what we got. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. And uh, I don't know what I'm saying here. Yeah, <laughs> high five. <laughs> Woo hoo. Good job, babe. I wasn't even in the room when he was doing this. There was no one there to catch this if it fell. Oh, it wasn't gonna fall. Oh my gosh. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still there? <laughs> do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's a subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.